Alright guys, welcome back to another video. We made it to Karbala in Iraq. If you don't know where Karbala is, it's in the south of Iraq and it's meant to be the holiest city for Shia Muslims and the population is about 700,000. So it's not the biggest but nonetheless it's not the smallest. So we're just gonna have a walk around the streets of Karbala today. We've got our friends uh, joining hey, us. Hey, hey. So we've got AJ. He's All gonna right. be showing it on How are you? I am very well, Good thank here. you for asking. He's a local, he's from Karbala. He's born here so he knows more or less everywhere around here. And we've got a brother. Stan from Poland. Stan from Poland. This is Stan from Poland. This is Stan from Poland. And uh, I hope you guys get fun. We're going to show you around. Yeah. Uh, Karbala is a really beautiful city. Uh, mostly religious, but uh, see how beautiful it is and I hope you guys are gonna have fun with it. Yeah, so stick around and let's see Karbala. So first thing before exploring, we're gonna go have some food. We just come to this place. Salam alaikum. How are you? So we just come to this local spot. What is it? Soup? Yep. Try it. It's really delicious. The reaction. Mm, it's like uh, lentils. In our culture, lentils you have with rice. With, yeah, we do that. Uh, we, we do that. Sometimes. So the foods arrived. I got a wow. chicken pizza. What did you get? I got chicken. Oh wow. And rice. Uh, actually, no. Rice. Uh, rice and chicken. Rice what and is chicken. this? This is uh, palm bread. Palm bread, okay. And you got? I got the same. I uh, got the same chicken yeah. and rice. Chicken, right. So it's just me, you got the pizza. <laughs> this is beans. Oh, it's the beans. Okay. Yes. And let's try this pizza. You can pick something mm, nice from and this. fresh. Oh, Put it on the rice. Uh -huh. And it's really good. There's a lot of cheese on it. Nice and fresh, well made. Yeah, we enjoy this. So this is the border of uh, Imam Abbas. Okay. Uh, the brother of Imam Hussein. Uh, there are so many gates uh, in, in each. This, this is a gate, and there's a gate over there, as you can see, guys. Yeah. Uh, each gate is named after the place or the the direction that the, the gate is in. For example, called Baghdad door because it turns to the uh, gate of Baghdad which will come from Baghdad yeah. uh, from here. So it is called uh, that. The opposite has got a lot of shops like markets selling stuff. And it's really busy now, obviously with it being Ramadan. Streets are full. So here they're giving away free water and food. Free water and free tea. And free tea, okay. Ah yes. You want chai? You want, you want chai? Chai? Water? Chai, chai. Yeah. Would you like some? I'm okay. I don't think I'm okay. He's a, I'm okay. He's a, he's he's a, a fan of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> coffee, not tea. So that's nice. They give him free water and free chai to everyone. Alright guys, so we just made it into the shrine. So we're on the phone because we can't bring the camera in. It looks at beauty here. Man. So we're just going in now.
So we're just in the middle of the board shrine now. So this, this shrine is Abbas and this one is Hussein. So we're just in the middle now. This is where people hang out and stay. If they come from a long way away, like a different city, some even sleep here and just hanging out, just taking it all in. So many people here man, literally thousands. Both shrines are full. This is full here. It's crazy man. They even deal with uh, like uh social issues. <laughs> So I was wondering why is everything red? You're probably wondering why. Of course. Uh, it is red when a family member uh, of Imam Hussein or Imam Abbas dies. And it's a memory. The memory of him dying this day, they turn these lights to red. Okay. But in the normal days, they are green. Oh, they are green, okay. But when a family member dies, like this is the memorial day of him dying this day, they turn this to red and they mourn over it. Okay, ah, I see. Okay, makes sense. Oh, wow. So when you've got contacts like AJ, you can get views like this. <laughs> Told you, I got you. <laughs> We're literally on top of a hotel. AJ knows a friend that has a hotel here and have this amazing view. Back at the bottom, got all these shops. This guy has internet, seven locations. So AJ's friend also has a ice cream shop. Actually, these are all his shops, yes? No, this one and that one. And that one, okay. And the hotel. And the hotel which we just went on top of. Oh, shukran, man. Thank you. So he got given some ice cream. Let's try it. Mr. Wiffy. Chocolate and vanilla. Mm. alaikum. What is this? It's called Tukki. 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 It's a fruit. It's an ah. It grows especially in Iraq. Iraq, okay. It's really delicious. I mean, you can taste it. I'll try it. Tuki. Here. Have a taste. It's very, very soft. Oh wow. That's nice. Right? I told you. Mm. It tastes like a apricot. You know apricot? Wow, that's nice. all I expected that. So we are on the hunt for some shisha now man. It's been a long day. I've traveled all the way from Baghdad. Yeah, so need to chill out for a bit now man. Relax and just enjoy the rest of the night. So we're going with AJ the man. Busy on the business calls. And just seeing if you can find us some shisha. Hopefully you can hear me because it's windy. So as like every country, we're going in the tuk-tuk. Gentlemen. Thank you bro. Nice and cozy. Your first time tuk-tuk? First time here. First time.
left the old Baghdad and we've come to the more of the modern side. Uh, don't shoot me. No camera here? Right yeah, there. no camera. Okay, restaurant. Uh, let's go to the spa. This is definitely more modern than more where we modern, come from. Yes, I told you we were coming to the modern place. Yes. There's a, uh, a swimming pool over here. People swimming can... pool? Yep. People can just go jump in? Yeah. Really? Uh, w uh, like w wedding places where people you know, make weddings and yeah. parties. Okay. Not bad. It's like we're, we're in Dubai. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Cheap uh, Dubai. Cheap Dubai. It's got coffee shops. I'm okay, I don't drink coffee. Wow, look at this. You wouldn't expect this to be in Karbala. Well, I didn't think so anyway. I think it'd be all all that stuff. Look how new it looks, man. Yeah, I'm impressed. It's like coming from old Karbala to this side is like, whoa, it's like a whole different vibe, man. All right, let's go. So we come to this shisha bar. So we've arrived. It's been a while since I smoked so. How How's the shisha? Good shisha. Top notch. <laughs> and we are back in the room. Let's turn this fan off so you can hear me. Well, good night, man. Shout out to AJ. Showed us around. I thought I'd quickly show you the room and then we are going to sleep. So, this gone off. There it is. So, this is the room. For one bed, it's $15. So, obviously, for traveling solo, you have to pay for two beds. So, I had to pay $30. Otherwise, it would have been $15 for one bed. But decent sized room, it will do me. I'm here for one more night, and this is the bathroom, pretty decent size. Not much, but has what it needs. Mirror, what's happening, bro? What are you saying, my G? I'm tired, so yeah, that's it. Nice, decent room, keep me going. What's in here? Nothing. Why don't they leave some water for me? I'm thirsty. So that's it for this vlog in Karbala. Pretty decent to be honest. Wasn't really expecting the modern side and even the old uh, Baghdad with the mosque and everything. It was pretty impressive man and also in the mosque. So much beauty. Obviously me being Sunni Muslim, uh, I don't know much about Karbala. It's good to experience it all and see where the Shia Muslims worship and stuff. But yeah, it's good experience. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Ha ha ha.